lonesome highways, endless forests, numerous lakes, rivers, and streams. Labrador is the continental portion of Canada's 10th and final province, Newfoundland and Labrador. This big land constitutes 71% of the province's area. Only 6% of the province's population reside in Labrador. Newfoundland and Labrador only became part of Canada in 1949. Newfoundland was its own dominion from 1907 to 1949. Skull in the rocks, that's what the cache says. And uh, we're hoping it's big. It says it's a regular. This will be our third look at a geocache in the province, as the first one was DNF. And the second one said it was a one and a half, but it was way up a hill oh, on the side of the road. We got this one. And we got lucky. Woo! Our first cache in Labrador. Oh, that's really nicely done. Look oh, at that. Cool. Nicely done. And from this find, we'll get a souvenir for a new province. This is the last province that we need to complete the provinces. And then we have to work on the territories for Canada. Awesome. Now we have complete from sea to sea. Ah, <laughs> let's hope this isn't our fate at the end of this trip. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Maybe after the black flies and mosquitoes are done with us. Yeah, eat us alive. <laughs> <laughs> we got our souvenir for Labrador. Yep, and it looks so awesome. I love it. When you're close and you survey your surroundings and you figure it's got to be close, just got to put the phone away and start looking. And uh, based on the description, I thought it said it was two meters up, but we'll see. That's not two meters up and it's not a coffee can like it said, but hey, who's, uh, who's going to argue? Check out the uh, signatures on here on the one page. This is a date found March 31st, 2011. Oh, that must have been cold. June 5th, 2011. Uh, August 18th, 2012. Wow, that's pretty cool. 2013. And then I checked the description. This cache was placed in 2002. That's awesome. The thing is over 20 years old. It's not from the be very, very beginning of geocaching, but for Labrador, this is one of the earliest ones, I would imagine. That's pretty cool. It's also a lonely cache. It was last found in September of 2020, almost two years ago. I was intrigued by what the cache owner had listed as the contents of the cache. Listen to this. Inside the cache is a logbook, pencil, oil bottle cap, gas line antifreeze bottle cap, two felt tacks, one screw, two bolts, and a hardened blob of caulking. <laughs> Who would need a hardened blob of caulking? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, somebody must have needed it because it's not in there anymore. <laughs> I just did a quick 
plants here and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then I'm like, wait a minute. It's here. So this cache was called Balls of Magnitude, and I suppose it was supposed to be filled entirely with golf balls. Somebody did add a log sheet in a bag, but the original log that was put in the cache is inside this one in this little mini vial. And it's the first date on there is from 2014, and that's when this cache was placed eight years ago, and it's still here. Pretty cool. And we've got our names on the original log sheet. That's fancy. And it's got everything. Oh, and there's the log sheet. Now that is a big rock. And that's called an erratic. Could easily be an earth cache. If they allowed those nowadays, but earth cache is based on erratics, not allowed because there's so many. They're very, very plentiful. A glacial erratic is a piece of rock that deviates from the size and type of rock native to the area in which it rests. The name erratic is based on the errant location of these boulders. These rocks were carried to their current locations by glacial ice, often over hundreds of kilometers. Erratics can range in size from pebbles to large boulders such as Big Rock, 16,500 tons, in Alberta, Canada. Perhaps William Wordsworth was describing an erratic when he wrote, As a huge stone is sometimes seen to lie, wonder to all who do the same espy, by what means it could thither come, and whence, so that it seems a thing endued with sense, like a sea beast crawled forth, that on a shelf of rock or sand reposeth there to sun itself. It is not uncommon to see abandoned snowmobiles along your drive. The name of the province was changed in 2001 to include the name Labrador and it's pronounced Newfoundland and Labrador. This next geocache is called Glacial Erratic. It's not quite as big as the last one. No ammo can. Oh, I think I see it. You got it? Yep. An ammo can. An ammo can in the woods. And it's tough. Oh. Hey. Uh, Ooh. Whoa. Ow. Strong man. Oh, Hamgram, Ingersoll, Ontario. I used to work with her. <laughs> very, very cool. I'll take a picture of that for her. Awesome. Okay. All right. The logbook. Very cool. Just like anywhere else, Labrador has other stories as well. 
We just might not know what the stories are telling us. I doubt when this cache was placed that it was like this. It's very, very overgrown. And you had to kind of crawl through all these branches to get here. But there are three big rocks. I found the cache nestled underneath one of the rocks. And I also found for hashtag coins for kids, 50 cents. So I think that brings our total up to four dollars something we were at 385 so there you go more hashtag coins for kids it all makes sense there are many many stories. We just don't always know how they started. Nice to get an ammo can. So many so far. And they're so hard to open. Oh, holy cow. What do we got here? There's the log book. Oh, geocacher parking pass. Oh, lucky strike lure. Flashlight. Lock the icer just in case you get locked out of your vehicle while you're finding the cache. <laughs> Very cool. And sign the logbook, put in a cash can and a card, and be on our way. The uh, cache owner described this cache as being a place where some black granite had been quarried, and you can see evidence of that in the rock with blast holes and cut lines, and even places where they never even cut a piece of granite off, but it was marked out. That's pretty cool. Nice when they add some information about the area like that, and you take the time to read the description. been a great time caching here in Labrador. We've made it to Churchill Falls. And there's so much more to see. Make sure you join us coming up. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Where, Where will geocaching, geocaching take you? Woohoo! We've been 
Newfoundland Labrador, new province! Woo! Yay. Yay! We finally made it all this way! Woohoo!